All right, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about toxic nursing work environments and what can you do about it, how to recognize it, and then what should you do, how you should approach that if you're in a negative type of just bad environment, bad toxicity. So let's get into it. So determining what a negative nurse environment is, is really key because a lot of times we'll overlook stuff. We'll get stressed in the ER, stressed on the floor, Things like that will happen, and then we'll start to overlook certain things. And that can be with anything. That can be in a relationship. That can be whatever. You just kind of mentally push it to the back and just kind of push through this stuff. But, you know, that also leads, um, when you're in a negative environment, relationship, work, whatever you may do, if you're dealing with a passive-aggressive person, a narcissist, whatever it may be, the absolute worst thing you can do is just avoid reality, right? We never want to just strictly avoid reality altogether. And, um, you know, that's one thing I want to talk about. And, and, and so the very first thing we need to do is recognize it and admit it that we're in that type of uh, environment, relationship, or whatever it may be. So number one, I think the, the number one thing is, are you happy? Um, are you constantly going to work? Are you constantly going and just being brought down all the time? You know, a lot of times in any type of negative environment, one of the number one things that people say is they just feel bad around this work environment or this person or whatever it may be. Again, it could be a relationship too, but they all have the similar patterns and they all kind of connect the same way. But it, are you happy? Do you just kind of feel like, like when you're away from that person or away from work, you can just take a deep breath um, because you're just like relieved. I think that's the first sign of a uh, of a tech, uh, toxic relationship or a toxic environment. And it's important that you start recognizing it early on. Um, number two, talking about the negative work environment, uh, is there a lack of positive feedback? This one's big. Um, I remember when I've had multiple people, when I've, when I've trained in as a, as a travel nurse in different ERs or whatever it was, you know, you had to go through an orientation phase whenever you go to a new travel assignment. And so I was around people a lot, you know, around a lot of different people doing many assignments. And we constantly had new people kind of showing us the ropes a little bit. And you pretty much got, and that, and that can go back to preceptors as well. You know, you pretty much have the people that really want to help and really want to teach people and show them the ropes, show them the shortcuts, things like that. But if there's a lack of positive feedback from that person, that, that can signal that your work environment's bad, you know, and then you got to determine, is it just this person or is it the full work environment or is it a mixture and a blend of both? So if you're not getting that positive feedback for little things and you feel like, uh, you know, you need more positive feedback, that's probably another sign as well. Uh, number three, this is a funny word because I, I think it's hilarious because it's a word today, but it's called microaggressions or even just what I call passive aggressive nature done by, you know, covert narcissists like to do that passive aggressive stuff all the time, but it's the same thing or people being passive aggressive to, to you. Everybody's been in an environment like that somewhere, somehow in their life that you've run into these people, you know, these are people that are to be avoided. But when you're talking about it strictly from a sense of a work environment, you know, that's another, that's a whole nother issue because that's affecting your pay. You know, that's affecting your livelihood. So you need to either pull yourself out of that situation. But again, the number one thing is to recognize it. That's the key. Uh, number four, a negative, I would say that for a negative work environment, another thing that is kind of a red flag is high turnover. High turnover is huge, huge, huge red flag. And I think that if you're in an environment where there's lots of high turnover, lots of people coming in and out. And now, now this needs to be taken with a grain of salt because nursing uh, traditionally has high turnover because people are moving in and out. You know, you have travel nurses. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that really negative turnover when people are leaving and they're pissed off and whatever it may be. And you have that high turnover rate and you just can't seem to get any kind of flow in the ER and something's always messed up or whatever it may be, but that high turnover is another red flag to watch out for. Um, number five, mass complainers. That's another thing I was going to, you know, I, I honestly, like I joke around a lot and, you know, even in the floor when I was working there, you know, I'd always joke around and complain, but it was never in a negative sense, you know, but what I want you guys to think about are those mass complainers, these people that just come with this negative mindset all the time. They never want to get things done. It just seems like there's always somebody complaining somewhere about something because at the end of the day, you just got to grind out, man. You just, sometimes, sometimes you can't complain. You just got to get the work done. 
But if there's mass complainers multiple times, that may signal to you too that, look, there's other people here in this environment on this floor that is not very happy, that they're not, you know, getting that feedback, getting that good positive feedback that I talked into the last one. So if you get mass complainers, that's a big, big red flag as well. Um, and finally, this is my, this is the last one, but it's also probably the, my most important one that I say that as that is a red flag and that is a gossip culture. Now, again, this needs to be taken with a grain of salt. You're on the floor, you're with a bunch of nurses. Sometimes gossip is just going to happen. But when that gossip culture really kind of reaches that negative type of, uh, just that negative feeling when people are gossiping and it's not good. And you know, that's to me, like there's always going to be a little bit of gossip, but if it gets to that really that negative place and you just see it, that is very harmful to the environment, that's a huge red flag. I mean, you know, gossiping is just going to happen. You can't stop it. But, you know, picking up on those signs while you're at work is important because all of this stuff really, you can, it can be avoided if you learn to recognize it. But again, like I said at the beginning, we tend to push this stuff into the back of our head. We just kind of grind through. We stay in these negative negative kind of feedback loop things, I guess you could call it, where we just plow through and it just keeps happening and happening. We don't want to address the issue because that means, damn, now I got to go find another job. I got to go do a resume. I got to do interviews, all of that stuff. But I promise you, if you're in a negative environment, the best thing you can do is get out of that environment because you're not going to change it from within, you know, unless you're in some kind of role or some kind of levers of power, you're not going to change. If you're just in there in the staff nurse, yeah, you're not going to have any power. The only way you can have any power there is to pull out, start looking at other jobs, start looking at other opportunities. And, you know, again, being a nurse is great because of the optionalities. You have entrepreneurship, you could do Botox. You could go do flight nurse. You could go do a different whole career specialty. I mean, that's really what is so awesome about being a nurse is just the optionality. Because once you figure that out and you're in this negative kind of just this negative environment on the floor, time to leave. Time to leave. Pack up, take your ball, and go home. It's time to leave. Uh, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk about my few things that I saw that were just super negative to me. And hopefully you guys can recognize these things early on, not get stuck in that negative loop, and, uh, and go find something else that you enjoy. All right, guys. Peace out.